friendly pendulums that still puts up five negates every single hand and it still crushes everyone going second with the whole new friendly approach that even if you're new at pendulums and don't know how pendulums work, I'm going to teach everything, the whole basics, all in a quick 10 to 15 minute video for you guys. So if you're ready for the video, hit the subscribe button. Shout out to Team Game Nation, the greatest team in the world. And let's get started. So first and foremost, you play three servant. Servant is all we will always be the backbone of this deck, no matter what, okay? But regardless, even though it is the backbone, a lot of you don't know how to resolve it. So I'm going to teach you guys as I go on in the video, tips and tricks to resolve it all the time, okay? Now, next, three chronograph. For those who don't know what chronograph or servant does, I'm not explaining that. But in the next level of knowledge of the deck, I will explain. But that's just so common knowledge what they do that I'm not explaining that. Now the magician part of the engine. This part is super new friendly because I added more magicians. Normally I would cut, I would play one harmonizing, not two. But a lot of you guys don't know how to play harmonizing. I took desires out of this deck because it's a noob. Oh, yeah, my bad. I forgot to play the noobs. It's not to talk slow. Okay, so these are harmonizings. But okay, I'll talk a little faster. Two is all you need, guys. Two is all you need. You don't need three. One will be too little for you guys because a lot of times you don't know how to play with harmonizing. But I'm gonna explain one combo at the end of the video. And this combo is going to be like the only combo I want you to do. Don't even think of any other combo. I took every card out of the deck that does not revolve around that one combo. All you have to focus is on is that one combo and you'll play the deck fine. Open Dragon Pit. With Pendulum Call, these are the only cards you want to search. Okay? That's the only game plan. You just search for these with Pen Call. Keep it so simple. There's no Dragon Caller in this deck to keep it noob friendly. If you know how Dragon Caller works, go ahead and play it. You should. But the most noob friendly way possible. Add a harmonizing and then whatever skill you're missing. If, if possible, if you already draw one, get these. You want these to be the only magicians in your scale. If you randomly run out of these or run out of pendulum call targets, because a lot of you don't know what to do when harmonizing has no targets. So I added more magicians. They both suck. I don't play them in my build, but noob friendly, they're fine. One purple poison, one black thing. If you run out of these in the scale, you want these in the scale. Understood? So you search for these first. And these are the next card you search. I do not play these whatsoever in my pro version. But if you're noob, they're fine. Especially if it's noob friendly and you don't know how to play properly. At one time, gives it because you still need it for chronograph. Understood? Great. Next. One gate zero. Even in a noob version, I would not play two. Three dark worm. Because this is a noob version you and you don't know how to play dragon color properly, you're still going to need to guard dragon combo correctly. So in a pro version, I'll play two. But in a new version, play three. Just to ensure you can always guard dragon combo no matter what. The whole deck is revolved around the guard dragon combo. But I'll teach you guys how to do it even through bad hands. One Endymion, and one Jackal. Plain and simple, the cards you bring up with Servant. There's no desires in this deck to ensure that every single hand is easy for all you guys, the noobs out there. So pay close attention as I show the combo at the end. One Persona Dragon. It just lets you, even if you guys can't guard dragon combo through a hand trap, it's a security blanket that now seal gives you a free negate no matter what. As I said, noob friendly, ensuring that you're going to get it no matter what. And one Distrudo, no Mirmir. As I said, noob friendly. So now there's uh, it's just easier for you guys to do. Now, seven spell cards that are draw cards. No spellbook blue boy. As amazing as it is, it's a noob friendly deck. As I said, as simple as possible. And no desires because a lot of you don't know how to play when your combo pieces get banished. Oh, what do I do when Jack gets banished? Now you don't got to worry about that. I'm making it as noob friendly as possible for you guys. Into the Void is also noob friendly because you're not going to have a card hand anyways because you're noob. So use this anyways just to get as many spell, card, spell counters as possible on Servant and it is a very easy way for you guys. Next. One Foolish, three Shrine. Even though a lot of you don't know what to do when you see two Shrine in hand, it's okay. You just discard it with Pendulum Call, it's fine, or just save it. You need the Dark Room in the Grave, and it's the best way for a noob friendly deck. And just focus on the Guard Dragon combo, and you're fine. Focus on the Guard Dragon combo and nothing else. Learn the one combo perfectly, and you don't got to think about anything else. So I'm going to teach you that then, as I said. So stay tuned for that. Next, five Pendulum Calls. I would... It's fine. You need scales. Your noob guys don't know how to play deck properly. You need scales in situations where you don't have the scales. So a higher Pendulum Call count is fine. Next, three Mastery. They're the best card in the deck. Okay, so that's the main deck. Now the extra deck, I'm going to explain the, most of them in the combo at the end. These cards I'm showing you, okay, are, is part of the Guard Dragon combo. These seven, just get them and don't ask questions. I'm going to explain them at the end of the video. Don't ask questions, just get them. And one Dragster. These are eight cards that you have for, going, for your negates going first, okay? The other seven cards in the extra deck are just for going second, especially for new friendly versions, okay? First and foremost, the two cards that you guys are going to go into a lot. Sorry, we'll start with these. All three Nightmare cards. If you don't, like, whether it's a noob or pro version, you play the three Nightmare cards, 
because they ensure that no matter what, you can clear a board. So if you don't know how to clear a board, you can just use the Nightmare cards. New friendly, pro friendly, it doesn't matter. It just ensures that uh, boards going second will be cleared. Next, both Boral cards. A lot of you don't know how to deal with problem monsters. That's what Boral Load is for. So for the ones that don't know how to play or clear a Colossus, for example, now you have Unicorn and Boral Load. I'll explain more combos at the very end. How you can end a Boral Sword and Boral Load going second and OTK your opponent into Oblivion. And one Supreme King Clear Wing. It's a new version. You might not know how to clear boards. Now Harmonizing can clear it. Next, you also play Supreme King Dark... Uh, Supreme King Dark... What's the card called? It's garbage. I don't have it. I literally Rebellion. don't want it. Dark Rebellion. Yeah. Supreme King Dark Steven is a good card. Supreme King Dark Rebellion is a garbage card. Hence, I don't even own it. I... Well, I don't own anything, actually. They're all from Game Nation. But the cards that I have here, there's like 300 of them. But I don't even... It didn't even top my 300... It didn't even top my top 300 cards. Dark Rebellion. That's how trash it is. But again, because you guys are not going to be able to clear boards, noob-friendly deck. Hence, play it to help you clear boards. Next, noob-friendly side deck. Don't Can't clear a board? No problem. Serial Mode got you. Lava Golem got you too. Dino Wrestler got you too. If you can't clear a board, just side heavy to clear the board for you. If you're playing a backer deck, no problem. Three Danko, three Dino Wrestler, and two, three Reboot. I didn't get a third Reboot because I don't need help to clear back, clear back row. So now you have nine cards. So new friendly, as I said. What do you side out? Whatever you feel like. The spell cards. Because you don't, like, it'll be too difficult for you to side correctly. So the easiest way for you guys to side out, just side out the spell card, the draw cards. That way you don't got to think. It's easier for you guys. I would not draw, take them out, but it's easier for you guys. Now, I'm going to show you guys the most easy way to guard dragon combo. Okay, just so you guys can know no matter what how to do it. You could do it with any turbo card. You play 15 or something like that. Any turbo card, any hand. But I'm just gonna show you guys or just a rough example. Doesn't matter. Even with a bad hand of magicians, doesn't matter. Whatever you want. Okay, just to show you guys a random example of how to guard dragon combo. Obviously with servant, it'll be a lot easier. This is a horrible hand. Magicians suck. You don't want to see it. But as I said, it's a new friendly video. So even without draw, without drawing servant, drawing servant is way easier because you have jackal on as well. But in a new friendly version, okay? A bad hand. This is the worst hand you're going to see. Shrine. Let me clean, clean, clean this up a bit. Okay, so that's your hand, okay? So obviously you're going to Shrine. If Shrine gets Ash, you have a backup in the chronograph. So the whole game plan here, I'm just going to show you how to guard dragon combo the most easy way possible. And because you guys aren't the best with this deck, just focus on how, to do, how I'm doing the combo, okay? Don't even confuse yourself. If you have one turbo card, just save the chronograph. It doesn't matter. If you have one one turbo card, you don't need to special summon another turbo card. Just keep it simple for you. The second you get one turbo card on field, forget turbo card. Just normal summon some card. Save it. Keep it very simple for you guys. So just in case, okay? Uh, don't complicate it for you, especially if you're not a pro in this game. Make your Electrum. Electrum effect, always use it. You're not pro enough to play around Ghost Ogre, so that's okay. Electrum effect... At this point, you could send Jackal King. If you don't have Jackal King, send Jackal King. So that's your... There you go. If you don't know what to send, if you have a guard, this you send this first. If you do not have this in the extra deck, you send Jackal. If you have both of them, you send Endymion. Simple as it gets for you guys. Plain and simple. Look back at this video if you don't know how to do it correctly. We have the Dark Room, so we're going to send the Jackal. Next... The same card you got from the Dark Worm or whatever card you need, just ensure that you have scales in hand no matter what. So you have scales in hand. Pop the gate zero, you get add anything. Just for this purpose, add the Jackal. You draw one card. Doesn't matter what you draw, just a blank. It's an Endymion. Great card, but whatever. Just imagine a blank. Whatever it, whatever it is. Now put the cards you have in scale. Pendulum Summon. The Dark Worm. Over here. The Jackal. Over here. Harmonizing over here. And you only need four monsters for this combo, okay? So don't forget that. You only need four monsters. So if you want, you can summon an extra card just for the sake of it. Just to have an extra card. But all you need for the guard dragon combo is four cards. Un uh, so like, harmonize har like harmonizing and dark room to res harmonizing resolve, this is all you need. Just three monsters because you want to save the jackal, if that makes sense. So this black fan that's coming out will just be there for free. Why not? Use harmonizing effect. In this situation, you don't want to bring out Time Gazer because you could save it with Chronograph later, if that makes sense for you guys. But again, just keep it simple. Don't complicate it. Pen Summon, everything you guys aren't pro enough to play like, oh, should I summon this? Should I summon not? To get the most utility, most value, whatever. Just summon everything. Make it simple. Uh, go into LP. 
as you see, just very simple. There's some pro plays you could do with getting more value out of Electrum in this situation, but in fact, you don't even need to use it in this situation. But anyways, uh, now go to Triple Burst. You see what I did there? LP over here. Electrum now and the Oath Dragon. We'll go into Triple Burst Dragon. Very simple, right over here. Making sure that the two arrows go like this. Now, you would make use LP's effect. Very simple for you guys. In this situation, in this in the situation that this gets hand trapped now, a lot of you don't know how to play on hand trap. It's fine. So now let's say this got Valey. Let's say they saved the hand trap. For a lot of you guys, it's a little more difficult, but I made sure to make it a little more easy. Just go into seal and then you're good. Okay, and then go ahead, save these for next turn, whatever. If you want, you can play a dweller or a brawl savage in the situation where this gets hand trapped. But I didn't want to take it out to make it easier for all the uh, super noobs out there. But if you're a little higher level than noob, play a Boral Savage. So just in case you could use these into that. Now, assuming that they don't have a hand trap, because you don't worry about hand traps if you're playing at that level. So you bring out a Destrudo. Where's the Destrudo? So you special the Destrudo. And the Destrudo on the Triple Burst go into Agar Pain. Now at the Agar Pain, because they're still pointing at the same thing over here, you go into Vortex Dragon. Okay? Next, you go into Seal with these. Okay. And with the Dragster, you bring out the, the Strudo with the extra card that came out. And uh, you make the Dragster. So this is your combo. As I said in the beginning, for if you pen summon five monsters, you're going to have an extra monster out. But that's fine. Little do they know if they attack it, and they're going to see it in defense and attack it. And you have the purple poison there. And it's going to destroy a card without them knowing. So you can't have five interruptions without them knowing. And as I said, if they hand trap you something, you don't know what you're doing. You seal. Uh, so you also bring another interruption on their turn just in case. So just like that, that's a typical guard dragon combo for you guys that don't know how to do it. There's way more complex levels with absolute, so usually, etc. And if you can hand trap what to do, how dragon color fits in. But we'll save that for another video for pro combos with the guard dragon combo. There's lots of stuff you could do. Okay, we're going to do one last little tip for you for the guys out there. Uh, just so you guys understand how to use it properly. Now, what happens when you're going second, okay? You have a lot of cards that are forced to bait out cards going second. Your opponent is going to ash your pen call. They're going to ash the foolish. They're going to DD Crow the foolish or whatever. Or like the, not DD Crow, the spell card that strikers play to shark cannon. They're going to shark cannon that. Like there's a lot of ways to get rid of cards the opponent has interruption wise. They're going to, if possible, go so great dragon pit if they didn't, if you didn't get it from pen call. Or they're going to ash or ogre the servant. Stuff like that. You're going to have a jackal to negate stuff. Electrum's going to get interrupted. There's gonna You're going to go battle phase. Or don't go battle phase. But lots of stuff your opponent is going to have to do to negate yourself. Your nightmares. You're going to have a lot of stuff to bait cards out. So the end goal for you guys is try to set up the guard dragon combo. So if in your, you're in a situation where they you baited all their cards. And all you're left with is a lot of times. You're going to be left with this. So you guys are going to see this a lot in your duels. You're going to bait out all their cards. And you're going to be left with a servant that's ashed or something along those lines. A random dragon pit, no cards in hand, you wasted all, all your cards trying to beta all the uh, opponent's interruptions, and all you're left is with a pen summon from your extra deck because you have nothing left in your hand because you utilize that to negate your opponent's cards. So what do you do? You summon the, gar the, the Dark Worm and you summon any random monster in your extra deck. This over here could clear a lot of cards. If you could get your opponent going second, this is the game plan. You don't have the Mirror Mirror that's so easy to clear boards. So going second, if you utilize all your cards to bait your opponent's interruptions and try and end on the Guard Dragon combo. If you can end on a Dark Worm, any monster, and an Electrum, you have a huge board that you could do that'll destroy the rest of your opponent's board. And if you had any other monster on board, it'll be a guaranteed OTK through two interruptions. So if you had any other monster on board, so three monsters plus Electrum, it'll be guaranteed OTK through any board. But for this situation, I'm going to show you a very simple play that you guys could do. So with the Dark Worm, you go into LP. Sorry, uh, the typical, I do it like this. So you pen on something like this, Dark Room into LP. These are the triple burst. LP, bring out the Destrudo. So now you have access for a free summon if you had another monster, as I mentioned earlier. And then with these, you go into Agar Pain. And as I said, uh, so Agar Pain, now don't forget, Agar Pain doesn't always need to go into Vortex, okay? Because I said Borlo's a good option. Now when you guys don't know how to, it's a dragon. So a lot of times going second, you're going to be able to do that. So Borlode now could steal a monster. So now Borlode could steal a monster for you. And now you're going to have four cards. If we're going. I know you already entered the battle phase, so it won't make sense. But 
Now you can make your Boro Boro Sword, which a lot of decks can't clear for some reason. If you had another monster on board the three monsters, you could easily Boro Load Boro Sword and Vortex them on that turn to OTK. So there's a few little tips for you guys to use going second or going first. I will make more videos in the future, tips and tricks going first or second if you're pro or not pro, noob or not noob, no matter your level, doesn't matter. And I'm gonna noob level. <laughs> and in fact, one cool little thing I'm gonna show you guys now while we have it out, a little tidbit of, of what's to come. A lot of combos you guys don't know how to do is if you have Dragon Pit in scale, it's a turbo card because you don't forget that. If you have Dark Room and don't know what to do, if you have a hand of if you have a hand of magicians, which is gonna happen a lot, especially when you play noob friendly magician decks, you're gonna have some hand of this. So it looks like you don't know what to do, right? You're gonna have some hand of this. You're like, yo, what am I gonna do with this hand? I have no turbo cards, what am I gonna do? Quite simple, you gotta think a little. Poison Dragon Pit, use Dragon Pit's effect to destroy itself, to discard the Dark Room, to destroy the Dragon Pit. Now, just like that, Dark Room's in, this, in the graveyard for you. So just like that, you got the free turbo card. What if I'm stuck in the pit? Nice dad joke. Uh, dad jokes suck. Only Ray likes dad jokes, but they're okay. But that one was bad. But dad jokes are cool, actually. I won't lie, they're pretty cool. And then just like that, you got a free turbo card. You can make your electrum before your pendulum summon. A lot of the times when you guys don't know, uh, can't put up a good board, is because you can't make electrum before your pendulum summon. So pendulums, uh, it's not pendulum suck. It's the noobs that play it. So if you're like I said, watch this video, understand it, and just like that, there will be no more of the noobs. So I hope you guys like this video. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Uh -huh. <laughs>